Welcome back to the Nerd Castle Kitchen. Stan Gibalisco here from the Black Hills of South Dakota. What you're looking at right here, uh, they, they don't really necessarily look all that good right now, sitting here in the fridge just awaiting later processing. That right there is steamed broccoli, steamed cauliflower, steamed Brussels sprouts, all mixed up together, chilled, and then salted and peppered, and some sunflower seeds sprinkled on top. That is Land O'Lakes whipped butter. That's real butter there. That's no nonsense. That's not imitation stuff. I will use that butter to saute these things right there. Now those are fresh baby Bella mushrooms, which I washed off, salted and peppered, strained and put in a bowl, and I will saute them, and then saute them in this butter, and then I will pour it on top of that steak right there, that piece of meat. Now that looks like a filet. But I think actually that is an eye of round uh, steak because it's, it's very, very juicy, very flavorful, very lean, but it's not terribly tender. It's not tender like an Omaha Steaks filet mignon or anything like that. Uh, there is one thing. I, w I bought this from Rancher's Pride along with a whole lot of other meat. And it's been pretty good so far. But what I got to say about Rancher's Pride, right there, that looks, I think that's a pork uh, loin, center cut loin or something like that. It's pork, and they've spiced it up a little bit uh, in a really neat way. It's about a half an inch thick. This, their pork, Rancher's Pride, so far, their pork has been out of this world. Fabulous kudos to them. I bought a whole freezer full of meat from them. They came by one day in a truck and they caught me when I was hungry. <laughs> All five foot six, 120 pounds of me. Stan Jabalisco awaiting the processing a little later this evening of this stuff. Well, we're back, ready to put the butter in the mushroom sautéing pan. So we'll do that first. Now, I'm kind of a shrimpy little guy and I'm looking to put on a little weight, so we put this whipped butter, about that much, about a third of a cup, maybe, of uh, whipped butter. Put her in there like that and let her melt. Might want to just turn that burner down a wee bit. I don't want to scorch these little things. Here's the baby Bella, baby Bella pre-sliced mushrooms. They look kind of oxidized or something like that, but I don't think that is any anything to worry about. They're way way earlier than their expiration date, and I've had them before and never suffered any ill effects. Mushrooms, anyway, they got that kind of dark look about them because of the, you know, the undersides of them are just like that. So we put that in there. Now they're all already uh, pre-salted and peppered, so we don't need to do anything with that. Now about the same time here, we'll throw on the eye brown into the skillet over here. No, uh, no butter or anything like that with this. This is going to be real, real lean stuff here. But the mushrooms, <laughs> the butter will make up for that when I pour that on top of there. This plate over here, you see, all pretty salted and peppered. Nevertheless, please excuse my boarding house reach a little bit of extra no salt see it's called no salt sodium free salt substitute you know I mean I don't want to get any too much sodium uh, you know got enough cholesterol and fat here to 
kill a couple of pigs. Don't need any more any more bad stuff. So we just keep stirring this around. We fry this up here, make sure that we uh, move it around a bit so it doesn't get too stuck to that pan. You know, I, I just um, scour that off there. I don't really wash it a whole lot. I just let the heat kind of create a little bit of a carbon surface on there that gives the stuff a little bit of a better flavor. So that'll be that until it's time to serve it up. Well, it's that time. This steak has been frying up there on that cast iron skillet for 20 minutes, 10 minutes aside, although I flip it more often to keep, uh, keep it from curling up. You know, I mean, you, you'd be surprised that little thing can curl up. There's my salad that I described earlier. Provide the fiber. I'll have that first. There are the mushrooms. All the burners have been turned off. Mushrooms also saute for 20 minutes. You've got to be careful when you do that. You don't want to overheat them and burn that butter and burn those mushrooms, but you do want to cook them enough so that, well, you want to cook them enough so that uh, the water dissipates out of them. You don't end up with a lot of water in there. All that juice in there is pretty much all butter. So what I'm going to do first, well, I got to remember to put this thing on. I sure don't want to forget to do that. Then I will take this steak off of here, this eye of round, put it right on the plate, which is on top of a cast iron plate to protect it from the overheating. I'm just doing that so you can see it here in all its glory. Then, it's time to put the mushrooms on top. In order to do that, you just pour them on. Make sure you get all that butter on there. Now, ready for the salad. First, with the fiber, etc., etc., to help with uh, to neutralize some of that fat, you know. But but then again, the objective is to gain weight. You know, that I want that stuff to go under my skin so I don't get so bloody cold every day when I swim at the Deadwood Rec Center, which doesn't even have a hot tub. They do have a wonderful sauna, though. And I want to be warm tomorrow because the high tomorrow is going to be five above zero. It's already below zero right now as I'm making this video. Guess I can shut the fan off, set that thing on the table, on a placemat there so it doesn't burn the table. <laughs> bon appetit from the Nerd Castle Kitchen. Stangibalisco, until next time. So long.